Welcome back, Bedwars, to another episode of Gamers. I'm your host, Sibillian, and today we're going to be breaking some beds and killing some kids. Now, as some of you may have noticed, I took last week off and didn't upload a video, and the intention there was that I was going to spend that week making the video for this week better. I did not do that. So what we're going to do instead... That guy also... That guy planned about as much as I did. What we're going to do instead is we're going to play some solo Bedwars and hope something interesting enough to, be, to upload happens. We'll see. Hit button. Out of the game, get out of the game, get out of the game, please, please, I want to move on with my life. Thank you. Now, in a perfect world, right about now, I would tell you that I spent this week sitting in bed doing absolutely nothing. Unfortunately, I actually did some stuff this week. You really do hate to see it. It's not, it's not ideal. I tried to avoid doing stuff as much as possible, but this week I finally folded. I, d I did a little bit of actual productivity. I did the one thing that every sane, good, good-natured Hypixel player has sworn against doing. I created a Bed Wars guild. Now I'm gonna put the requirements on screen now. It, it's it's a publicly available guild, so if you meet the requirements, you, you can join. Um, if you're just joining because you like my videos, I mean that that's fine. Just don't be a gremlin about it, you know. As long as you're not in the guild chat going, "Oh my God, is that famous YouTuber Civilian my favorite YouTuber in the world?" Oh my God, please play with me, please play with me. That like, it's fine, it's fine. And if you are like that, you should leave a comment praising me because my ego will appreciate that so much. You have no idea. My plan here was to go for white team, but it seems like they kind of died on their own to aqua, which means I probably should have gone for green, but green's going for aqua as well, so this is all just kind of working out in my favor. I do realize the 16 and F requirement for the guild is way higher than most Hypixel guilds, but you have to understand, compared to most of the Bedwars community, I'm an old man. I'm like the grandfather of the Bedwars community, even though I've not played for all that long. Hey, <laughs> guys, that's me. I'm sorry, man. It had to be done. Now Green's gonna try to... Okay, bye. Well, as long as you get the final kill, that's fine. Oh my god, he lost. My guy, you had one job. It, listen, if you're gonna drop on the guy who isn't the final kill, that that's okay. But you have to actually get the final yourself. Otherwise, you're just making the game worse for all of us, you know? Anyways, I realize the 16 up requirement is way higher than most Hypixel guilds because the Hypixel player base is roughly three years old on average. But the reason for that is I'm an old man and it's so incredibly difficult to find other, like, not infants to play with. And I have nothing against infants, don't get me wrong. But if I wanted to play with them, I could just go to Lobby 1, you know? It's, it's not that hard. Yeah, there we go. Come here. This is extremely awkward and I hate it. Okay, I killed him. Well, I didn't kill him, but I'll kill him now. He's actually going to his base on one, which is way better for me. Like, dude, this is not a good choice. <laughs> Why did you do that? So I suspect that Aqua's going around the map that way, which is fine. I just need to take these back and then void. Yeah, he's going around. Oh, he's like almost at my base. Okay, hang on. He's just going straight for me. He's probably got decent stuff, but I can probably kill him here with a good fireball jump. Unless he just... Oh, he used a good fireball jump. No. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was just insulting. Why do you have to fireball me in the face? And now, I mean, don't worry. I spent this week doing plenty of unproductive stuff, too. All right. Now, I've been playing a lot of Among Us with my friends. And I know that saying the name of that game is going to absolutely obliterate my comment section until the end of time. I'm so picky about my memes. Like, I remember back when... Oh, buddy. <laughs> I remember back when like Uganda Knuckles was the popular meme and people would just say the meme and that that's it That's the joke. It's so annoying, but I actually quite enjoy among hey <laughs> I actually quite enjoy among us because social deduction games are great They've always been a thing that I'm into I've never been especially good at them But I'm kind of good at among us and being able to dig my teeth into it has been really enjoyable I just my only complaint is that I wish my group played more often. We've been getting into modded Among Us lately with all the extra roles and stuff like that, and it's pretty good. I think it's a bit chaotic for my tastes because we're in that phase where like it's new and fresh, so we want to throw in every single role just to see what it does and have just a crazy silly time. But I think once it kind of evens out, once we get used to it and find a combination of uh, settings that work well for our group, I think it'll be. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be a little bit more competitive because let me tell you, playing as the Jester when everybody else is automatically suspicious of you is the greatest thing of all time. It's like free wins. It's it's incredible. I guess I've already dedicated myself to just spending the entire video telling you a play-by-play -play of my week, so I might as well full send into it. I've also been spending a lot of time doing Bed Wars 1v1s, both in like the Bed Wars practice server and in private games against friends. And it's, it's a good experience. The issue with the Bed Wars practice server is that very few actually good players play on there. 
And it's one thing if it's all bad players or if it's all good players. I think those either of those are fine. But when there's a mix, it's not good. Because let me tell you, the way that you 1v1 against good players and the way that you 1v1 against bad players is so just drastically different. So you kind of need to know what you're getting into when you start. Dude, a world where the Better Wars practice server adds a matchmaking system? Oh my god. Imagine if they had ELO. Not even ELO. Just like some kind of... Hey. Nice TNT jump, dude. Like, if you win several games, you get put into a bracket of quote-unquote good players. That's really all I ask. I honestly wish that normal Bed Wars had that. Almost. Almost. It, it is nice every now and again to go up against just hordes of small children. Like, the games that I've had today, they've been pretty easy. I've been having a good time so far. But, you know, I'd love, I'd love to actually queue against Sweats more often, because nowadays, what sweats will do way more often than previously is they'll just q dodge people because these stats overlay mods have become really popular not mods these stats overlay programs have become really popular where when you queue into a game it'll show you the stats of everyone in the lobby and then if you have an fkdr that's more than like two anybody decent will immediately dodge and it's not great i fireball jumped there because i thought he was going to fireball me but then he didn't and it just made me take a lot of extra damage for no reason whatsoever but it looked cool and that's what's important now did it actually look cool probably not but in my head but in my head it did all right, here we go. Intense 1v1. And, oh, I didn't think he could make it up there. I'm just going to run past him. My base is over that way, so I can just run past with absolutely no risk whatsoever. I think he hopped in the void, yeah. So now I can break his bed. I think I have time to gap. Yeah, this is fine. Hello. And I physically cannot lose this fight because I just have such good stuff. Like, I can let him get so many free hits on me. And now the game is over. Oh, and he gave me an L in the chat afterwards. That's very rude. I've decided to bite the bullet and become one of those gremlins that uses clay defenses on these fast iron maps. I don't actually think this is a good strategy to use, but I'm going to do it anyway just for fun. I mean, I feel like if a clay defense actually turns out to be good, then I'll have to eat my words from the past like three years where I've been saying clay defenses are garbage and useless. So it would definitely be interesting at least. But I don't think I will. I'm pretty sure clay defenses are just bad across the board, no matter what. Now, this guy has a wood defense, which is equally, if not even worse. Hey, bud. I don't know why he was continuing to spam wool over the bed, as if that would help. See that? His wood defense did absolutely nothing for him. I guess, yeah, because I killed him before he got knocked into the void. So, a wool defense would have had exactly the same effect as that wood defense. And instead, it just, he just had to sit at his base for longer. But it's fine. I won't complain terribly about other people using inferior defenses. I mean, it makes my life easier, so fine by me. All right, good news. I accidentally bought a golden pickaxe instead of buying armor like an intelligent person. So what we're going to do is we're going to hope that somebody has a defense that I can break with a golden pickaxe. Nobody does. Very cool. I've also been spending a bunch of the time where I haven't been recording. I've been, I've been streaming every now and again. I haven't been doing it a lot, but every Saturday, for the most part, I stream on YouTube. So if you want to see those, you should subscribe and ring the bell. Oh god, there's a person here. Ah. Uh, wait, I should be using my gold pick action, shouldn't I? Oh god. Okay, bye. Ah. Uh, why? <laughs> what did I do to you? I broke your bed. That's what I did to you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a nice day. And then, in addition to streaming on YouTube, when I've been... Do you want to do a stream that's like in the middle of the night or a game that isn't Minecraft? or Hypixel Bed Wars or whatever. I've been streaming on my Twitch channel. Now, if you're an old time fan, you know that I used to do Twitch seriously, right? Not not to the point where I was like big or anything. I saw I averaged pretty few viewers, fewer viewers than I do on YouTube, actually. But I do have a bit of experience Twitch streaming. And I, I've, I've decided to go there for any non like, I don't want to say not good streams, but streams where I'm not too terribly concerned about putting on the content. I don't know if that was a description that made any sense. Chill streams, you know, good good vibes and not a whole lot of like sweaty sweat. Well, I mean sweaty sweat, but not sweaty commentary. Does that make sense? Like I'm not sweating. I don't know. I'm just going to kill this guy and move on. All right. Good news. Killing that guy has allowed me to cut to a version of myself that is much more, much more like coherent. Oh, uh, excuse me. I'm the best Bed Wars player in the world, oh my god. Oh, hello. Yeah, so Twitch is for streams where I'm not trying too hard to be like an entertaining YouTuber. I'm just hanging out, playing some Bed Wars, talking to the chat, vibing, having a good time, listening to music. Probably gonna get copy stri copyright striked and removed from the platform, but you never know. I need to go up here. Just gotta wait for the blindness to run out. He's on fire still. I double ate that gap. Thanks, Hypixel. And now the game's over. 
But yeah, my Twitch is linked in the description below. It's just twitch.tv slash civilian. I'm, yeah, I'm toxic. Haven't said a word this game. Very toxic gamer, you know me. All right, thanks for watching this video. I know this was kind of a shorter one and kind of chaotic and unplanned compared to most of my videos. If you only want like sweaty kind of produced videos, let me know in the comments below. I'm more than happy to only do those. But I want to do one of these update solo Bedwars videos every now and again, just so I keep in the groove of commentating. Either way, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe if you did, and I will see you next week, probably.